So Seth, I'm wondering if you could talk some about how young people experience these kind of conversations and what some of the opportunities or challenges might be. So the, the data that we have shows that um, they, that youth experience these, these conversations and that our program in really positive ways, that um, they're more empowered to be able to have different kinds of conversations with friends that they may not have been talking about these issues with before. Um, that they're more able to ground themselves to take you know the U-turn and to find that centered space to more fully understand the different parts that are reactive within them and how that influences their thinking and that sort of thing. Um, and that um, like one really profound change that, that I thought it w from one of the uh, students was um, he came from a, a pretty racist background that he identified uh, in the pre-interview. And then when I, in the post-interview, that was really bugging him. That had started to bug him. The jokes that he used to make, he said, I don't, I don't find those funny anymore. I just find it degrading. You know, I, I really want to call out my friends on the stuff that we used to joke about because I don't like that. Um, he started advocating for reparations. He didn't call it reparations, but that's what he was advocating for. Uh, and he's saying, you know, this stuff just really, it, it bugs me now. I, I really want to, I need to ponder this for a while. And so there's a space that's created that youth really take to, to explore these issues when they're given the time and the space to do it. Um, so those, those are the opportunities that you have youth that are really wanting to do this, I think. And so when they're given the opportunity to actually do it and to be fully present, um, this, it's not as hard as it seems like it might be at first, actually. <laughs> the challenges, I think, in, in youth groups particularly, would probably be some of the parents that are apprehensive to what might be going on. And so I think finding ways to navigate that um, is particularly important. And I, I wish we had better answers for that, but that's not what our research was focused on. Um, and uh, can you think of any other challenges? I, I would think that, I guess that that is the challenge, but a way to respond to that challenge would be to make sure that it's wrapped in Christianity, mm. that it's wrapped in theological language, yeah. that you explain how this is a deeply Christian practice that we're doing, that it's a part of discipleship, and it's how we understand ourselves to be practicing Christianity that models the life of Christ. And I think that can um, calm some of the def defensiveness some parents might feel about it um, because that is what we're doing. It's a see it as a theological problem, explain it as a theological problem. Mm 